Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to share to you things that I bought for myself for my birthday. For those of you who remember, thank you so much for, for all the birthday greetings. I do realize that in the last two years, uh, I've been really very frugal in terms of my purchases. I haven't bought anything substantial for myself in the last couple of years. By that, I mean I haven't bought any luxury items at all because one, I really really have a lot of it already and second I really am minimalizing and I just wanted to curate the items that I have something that will really suit my lifestyle okay, my, my first two purchases so um, I bought a couple of silk kaftans from Zarina I will link the video that I did a few weeks ago I showed my silk kaftan collection and in that video i mentioned that the color i am lacking is a touch of green i've got the stairway to heaven and this is what the print is like i will do a cutaway on the side it looked that it had 30 to 40 percent of green so it's got that green uh tint to it but i think definitely more blue than green i mean the back i think the green is just on the lower side of the print okay, although i already have another blue a friend of mine is saying that's similar uh, i think you already have that but and i think she's right although the, my other blue has got white and more black in it but this one has got the green so so that's the print because whilst on that side i got distracted by all the other items on that although i must admit that i do go to that site regularly we do have sales regularly take advantage of that i, uh, I got this like 20 percent off the other kaftan i got is called the forbidden temple and this one the dominant color is red and i know that i don't have this i mean i got the orange the the fiery orange but i don't have the red but look how pretty the print is Although I don't like the name uh, Forbidden Temple, I don't like, I don't like the name at all. <laughs> Forbidden, and then it's a temple. That's the print, and hence I got a couple again from Zarina. And the next purchase is from Molten Brown, and I got the uh, Rosa Absolute Bath and Shower Gel. And so this is what the packaging looks like. The top note for this is black curant pink pepper and raspberry and the middle notes are rose violet leaf and geranium and then the base notes are patchouli labdanum and vanilla this is described as voluptuous dramatic impassion the london via lombardia and i've used this in the past and what makes rosa absolute so special that's why i got it for my birthday is because the scent reminds me of my favorite perfume which is the portrait of a lady i did a review on that i will also link that below the complimentary bath and shower gel for that perfume i think is the rosa absolute velvety voluptuous fresh and yet dark it's fruity but not in a very citrusy way this one does not have the rich maskiness of the portrait of a lady but it has the rich dark aspect of it from the patchouli and i think that's why having this shower gel the portrait of a lady as a perfume is a perfect combination if you can't afford the perf the portrait of a lady perfume maybe try this one and see whether you like it but guaranteed you will love this so the rosa absolute now becomes the the number one bath and shower gel from molten brown and hence i got this and then the last item just keeping within the theme of rose and flowers i got this from the body shop and this is the british rose shower gel so it says here with essence of hand-picked roses from britain so let me just quickly sniff yeah exactly how i imagine it to be so if you love roses and you love the smell of 
rose petals you will love this shower gel that is exactly what it smells like rose petals those are my birthday haul I thought of buying myself a new perfume but honestly I still have almost 10 bottles of perfume that I really need to completely finish it off before I start buying anything because I am now a minimalist I can't just go and purchase items especially if I still have a lot of those that I need to completely finish off while I'm here talking about my birthday haul I'm just thinking if have I got a uh, wish list for my birthday or Christmas even Christmas I really don't celebrate Christmas do I have a wish list mm. see it takes a while for me to to think about what I want just trying to go back to the time where I could easily just buy anything I want and what, what, what would I want I've been really looking into magazines lately but there's nothing in there that I'd like to purchase if I wanted to I could go and buy it but in my mind it's like what for like I don't see I don't see the need to do that I do like experiences yeah. maybe not a thing so it's more like a, a trip somewhere nice and warm and tropical like a trip to hawaii that one i would like so this is like i'm making the wish list now because i don't have a wish list anymore i actually want to sell a lot of my items um, if i had to buy a bag i think i'd like to get the uh, Givenchy, the anticona bag the, the uh, just a medium size that would be it jewelry what would jewelry nah i'm not really into that anymore like i have enough at least maybe have a a pet like have a dog eventually i would like to adopt a dog would prefer adopting a puppy so the puppy can grow with my two cats rather than uh, adopting a a, an adult I dog think so. I can't think of any material things or luxury items that I want because I have stopped making wish lists or which means I, I don't want them anymore which means I don't think about it there are less material items that I want I don't want but any. birthdays I see it more as a way to really thank God for for all the blessings that I have received over the year and for giving me everything that I have and own and and relationship around me and that's how I see it and that's it <laughs> thank you all for watching see you again next time cheers bye bye